Hello world of YouTube and welcome back to my channel McManiacs. It's your B Mitchy like let you here with another episode of Toys and Things. And today's video is going to focus on yet another haul from the American Girl store. And I cannot wait to dig in and show you guys everything I got because it's just so awesome. As usual, I am so addicted to these dolls already that it's just totally, totally ridiculous. But what can you do when you're a doll collector, a toy collector, or really any kind of collector? So let me just hush my mouth and let's get to it. Alrighty, everyone. So I have a nice little haul here. And we are going to start with the smallest bag first and then the middle bag and then the big bag and also here I'll give you a little shot of um, the last doll that I opened in my last haul video which is truly me um, 88 I keep wanting to say I could be wrong I think it's 88 the one with the purple hair and I did get um, the true the, not truly me the creative outfit um, that I showed off in that video as well and I put it on her and of course it just looks awesome because her hair being purple and that outfit and her shoes there are just too too cute and that little sparkly bright is just too too cute and also if you're wondering about this bag that is next to her it is um, a doll carrier bag and I got it from Amazon for $23.99 I believe I believe it was a little on sale so maybe like a couple bucks off but yes it's just really really cute um i just got that color um because i obviously matched the doll hair oh and by the way the doll's name is kimber i named the doll kimber because i thought it went well with courtney my other doll and i just thought that that would sound like they would be like the best friends it's like kimber and courtney it just i don't know i just really really like the name um kimber for her so anyway this is kimber's doll carrier and um i'll dig in here a little bit oh, finger got in the way i'll dig in here a little bit and show you guys what it looks like it's obviously not any kind of name brand um it, these um artwork and animation on it is um kind of a mix of a lot of different looking things if you ask me you got the unicorn there and then the other type of unicorn and it's just like a really really mix of like kind of like an 80s look to a more modern look but the colors are really really pretty so once you open it up you have a pocket here um a, a sleeve i guess that's what you want to call it or storage area or whatever and she has areas where you can put the um accessories clothing whatever you know you want to put and it also flips open to reveal um even more pocket areas and storage areas i apologize if this video is a little shaky guys it's kind of hard to film with just this one hand and move around with the other so apologies for the shaky video i'll do my best but yes here it is so some storage areas there and there and a strap here um only thing i actually don't like about it is is i think the strap should be here instead of there um because in order for like her face to show out the little clear um window here i have to like turn kimber this way in order for her face to show out other than that she's turned this way and then all you see is her hair out the window so um yeah so i kind of don't like the strap being there unless there's another way of doing that and i'm just like duh missing it i have no idea uh another way to avoid that where i don't have to flip her this way so it's kind of awkward i'd rather like open it up and have you know her being here facing me like um the other doll carrier that i have uh which is uh the my life the cute little my life um unicorn one that K 
came from Walmart for like 20 bucks or whatever. And that is where Courtney goes and that one. And then Kimber goes in this one. So, oh, finger in the way. But yeah, so that's just like a cute little dog carrier there. Oh, and little randomness. Look how cute my slippers are. They're super cute. Anyway, so yeah. Cute little dog carrier. It does have handle at the top, handle on the side, and one weird side strap, which is different than the My Life one. It has two straps on, like a backpack would, and this just has a weird side strapper. Like it goes crisscross from one end to the other end. So make of that as you will. But it's just something I guess to more sling over your shoulder rather than having um, two straps. But yeah so that is the amazon 18 inch dog carrier that is kimber's because it's super cute and matches her yay say hi all right so let's dig in to my goodies let's start with the little bag here so this past weekend um american girl had a promotion um, if you're a rewards member, which I am, I'm already a Barry member already, and I just started collecting, and I'm already a Barry member, which means, if you don't know that, it means you've spent over $500, I believe, so yeah, I've already, like, gone in that deep, so, yeah, so, they had a promotion, and you got three times re rewards points for purchasing um, this weekend, and then you also got a special gift if you brought, um, Courtney's one of Courtney's new items which we'll get into here in a second but yeah so this I got this is um inside these is two scrunchies oh, that's weird looking I don't know what that is but yeah two scrunchies um that match her paint splatter dress that I showed you guys in like my first ever haul video I'm gonna try to open this give me one second while I open this to show all right, here it is, guys. Some two scrunchies. They're supposed to be one for you and one for your doll, but they're actually both the same size. I mean, even for a kid, it would be it would be really, really small. So one of these scrunchies definitely aren't fitting me. I don't even really see how they would fit a kid, maybe like a toddler or something, but not a kid who would own an American Girl doll anyway, because they're um, age appropriate, eight plus, I believe, is the age. But yeah, so anyway, two cute paint splatter scrunchies that match her dress that you got for free. Um, and comes in this cute little box, super, super cute box. Um, yeah, so that was a promotion that you got for free if you brought one of Courtney's new items that just recently came out. Because uh, this month or whatever, or this month being her birthday in February, and um, it was like a promotion. It's like Courtney-related stuff all all this month because of her birthday so one little box down let's dig into the other and of course we have another bag within a bag here so what I did uh, do everyone is I actually took my Courtney doll to the store to get her first ever doll salon visit and of course being my first time as well doing that so she went to the doll salon and she got her hair done. I put her hair back in um, her original style where she had the tight spiral curls. And I did actually video the whole thing. And that will be in a YouTube, another YouTube video I'm doing. So you can actually see um, her getting her hair done. For those curious, and it's just kind of like relaxing to see and cute to watch a little dog get her hair done. It was definitely a neat little experience that, that I'll definitely be doing again. So with your doll salon visit, if you spent over 20, I believe that's what she said, um, you get a tiara, a free tiara. And so I did spend over 20. And she got that. And then if you're a Barry member, you get a berry colored or a red colored um, tiara as well. So yeah, two tiaras and then and that is it in this bag. This bag does have um, tissue paper that says American Girl on it, which I think is like a little extra, extra touch. And so um, with, uh, let me see, wrong thing. Oh yes, so with um, 
the, her getting her hair done, which I believe was $15, I decided to add um, nail polish for her to get her nails done as well. And that was an extra $5. And I picked out this cute, 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 super cute color for Courtney to get her nails done. And I just really, really love the color. And yeah, she got her nails done. And this was an added uh, five dollars um, this nail polish comes out with just water is just really easy I guess to put on if you can do that with tiny tiny little fingernails but yeah it just comes off pretty easily with water at least it does give you instructions of how to apply the nail polish and how to remove the nail polish so yeah cute little nail polish I'll probably buy the other two colors I believe maybe it was like purple or pink or were the other two colors but yeah, that's the little card that comes on. So, yep, I can now do Courtney's nails. And I also got something for myself. I got this um, little item here, pins for girls or whatever. Um, I got it because I do have a jean jacket and I put pins and patches on the jean jacket. And I just thought this would be really cool. I mean, the little sunglasses are cute. And of course, the American Girl um, logo or star or, you know, the main thing they're kind of known for, um, the star there. So yeah, it's just a couple of pins for my jean jacket. And I just thought it was super cute and not that expensive, uh, $5, you know, for a couple of pins. So, you know, not bad. But yep, they'll be making an appearance on my jean jacket pretty soon. And the last thing in this little box is actually another um, box with of those um, scrunchies. So I end up getting two. Um, the lady at the salon gave me one. And then the lady at the cash register gave me one. So yay, I have two. And that is it for that bag. And now let's dig into the big bag here. So, in the big bag, I did pick up Courtney's new book, Friendship Superhero, and it's about um, one of her friends having HIV, which, um, you know, Courtney is a doll, 1986 doll, and of course, as you know, that in the 80s, or if you do know, in the 80s, um, HIV and AIDS was, was a very, 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 very big deal, and, you know, it was kind of like uh, I want I want to compare it to the coronavirus but you know a really bad pandemic in the 80s um so yeah so it deals with her um and a friend that has um HIV I have not read the book but I heard good reviews about it and I really really love um the photography and the artwork and the job they did on on this I think it's super super cute and I, of course, love the colors of purple, white, and all that. And I actually look, looks like they're a Halloween story here. Halloween is my number one holiday besides Christmas. So, yeah, it looks like they're all trick-or-treating or doing something. But, yeah, I haven't read the book yet. But it looks pretty good, and I definitely will be reading it. So, that was $7.99, and it just came out this month, like a couple weeks ago. So, there's that. And the next thing I have in the big bag is... Courtney's fitness accessory or fitness outfit um, this was one of the items that if you purchased this item you received the doll scrunchies um, the two scrunchies so if you purchased either this fitness outfit or her fitness um, accessories with the TV which is something I'm definitely going to be buying here um, it's a cute TV and um, bean bag and uh, weights and all that it's uh, VCR and you can probably look up other um, channel or other videos on her um, new uh, TV set but yeah if you brought the TV set um, as well as this or either one you got um, the free scrunchies so I did buy her this outfit because it really really is 80s there's like little stirrups there and the headband and the tank top with the leg warmers I mean it's super super cute I have seen it on the doll and I believe this retails for I'm not sure if this one has a price on it it's weird how some um, American Girl stuff in the store will have the price on the on the back of it and then some doesn't so I think this retails for $32 but I could be wrong but yeah that's her fitness outfit and it is super cute I can't wait to um, put her in it and then I'll probably be buying that TV soon 
Now, for the big item, of course, I got another doll because I couldn't help myself. And um, Luciana, obviously, this is her book. I did open the doll when I got it just to, I just couldn't help. I just had to look at her and give her a quick, a quick once over. But yeah, so I got Luciana. This is her book. Um, I'm pretty sure I might read this one. I'm not sure if I'll read um, all the rest of the books in her series. Um, cause I probably not, I know she's the girl of the year from 2018 and they still do sell the doll obviously at, at the stores and she's still in stock online. And one of the main reasons I got her is because, well, she's really, really cute. I like her skin tone and of course I like her hair with the purple streak and I like the, her face mold and all that. And I just think she's super cute. But another reason I actually got her is because I know there is a lawsuit against American girl by an astronomer who claims that this is basically a knockoff of her because of the likeness between her name and her career and her clothing style and even her hairstyle and the whole nine um so there's just a little lawsuit whatever going on there and i thought well you know what they might retire this doll or have to get rid of the doll quickly you know if the lawsuit depending on how the lawsuit goes out so i figured i buy the doll because one i really do actually like the doll and Number two, I mean, it could be become a rare item in the future, and as a collector, I would want that. So here she is in her bag here in her box, and of course, um, she's in what I like to call the cryogenic chamber because of the window and the way her face looks like. It looks like she's frozen in time, and she's just waiting to wake up with her eyes closed and everything like that, and... Um, her box, I love the artwork on the box. It's definitely different than obviously the rest of the American Girls. Um, I haven't seen like another design box that I saw anyway at the store. Any modern one, the other Girl of the Years pretty much look the same except for their logo at the bottom explaining or showing you what the doll is. But um, the colors and the design on this box is, um, is really cool because uh, Luciana is a space and then to stem like mathematics and um astronomy and astronauts and that's kind of like her thing so yeah so i really really love um the colors and the design on the box itself so let's get her out of the box and take a look all right guys she is out of her cryogenic chamber and I did not take her 100% um, fully out of the box yet. Um, I will be doing that soon, but I'm um, just not going to do that right now. But I will show you close-ups and everything of how she looks. She does have a purple streak in her somewhere in there. I haven't taken off a hairnet or anything like that. Um, I love her outfit, her spacey themed outfit. It actually kind of looks like, you know, something that would be in the 80s for like a little kid's outfit. So. I like that and like her little fanny pack that's also you know 80s as well or similar to the ones in the 80s not necessarily like it but yeah pretty cute and um her little holographic boots are just super super cute as well and she has some accessories there and taped um, I'm not 100% sure what they are. I think they might be a necklace and something else. Um, so I'll get them out the box and check them out too. But yeah, so here she is. My first ever American Girl of the Year doll. And it is Luciana Vega. And I just absolutely love her. Um, her skin tone, her eye color. Um, yeah, just everything about her. Her her face mold, even her eyebrows. Um, yeah, she's just super, super cute. So, yep, yeah, that was my American Girl haul this past weekend. And it was definitely, definitely a fun time at the store and fun time shopping and a fun time at the hair salon. And also remember to check out um, Courtney's doll hair salon visit. She really had a nice pampering at the hair salon. She got her nails did as as you know, the kids like to say, she got her nails did, she got her hair did. So um, definitely, definitely um, check out the video of her at the American Girl 
doll hair salon but as far as this video goes i think we're about done and just all my stuff just thrown on the floor but yeah there she is there's my kimber there's my new luciana just beautiful beautiful dolls and Courtney's chilling behind me but yeah so thank you guys so much for tuning in and thank you for every like and comment and subscription to my channel um yeah I'm new here obviously to YouTube I'm a small YouTuber but so it's 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 very cool to get um you know have the support and everything that I have so I really did want to um thank you guys so much thank you guys for being my milk maniacs as I like to call you so Again, I'll cut this video off and I wish you guys a nice day, a nice night, whatever it may be. But thank you so much. Bye.